by and large. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's so tough. Car Kirby. Mm -mm. Okay. It's Kirby's latest unforgettable 3D platforming yeah. adventure. I mean, I'm already sold, guys. Land. It all takes place in a mysterious world with an unusual mix of nature and civilization. Now, the the, the, the nighttime scape there was really good. Kirby sets off on a new adventure. Yeah. Introducing Yo, what is going on? Mouthful mode. Mouth. Mouthful. Car to zoom around. What the hell? A vending machine to attack with juice cans. The heck, man. Or become a piercing cone. Cool, I guess. Yeah. All right. Mouthful mode. New actions will be available for Kirby depending on the object he inhales. Enjoy exploring with new moves <laughs> different from copy. Wow, movies. this is a cool spin they're putting on it. Kirby can even weaponize a mouthful of water like this. As Kirby Man, it really does. I said this before before we saw all this, but it really seems like they're going all out with them this game. Waddle D's weapon shop. Familiar copy abilities can be evolved. What? Evolve copy abilities. Dude! Range of attacks. Yo! Also change Kirby's appearance. Yeah, and it changes his aesthetic too. That's amazing. Dude! Copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. Yo! Friggin' loving that, man. Wait, our pink puffball. Who are the beast pack? What are these enemies trying to do? Can Kirby restore? That's obviously to someone we world? know, I think, there. Kirby and the Forgotten Land launches on the Nintendo Switch system March 20th. Oh my god, so soon. Are available yeah. now on Did Nintendo they say Mars e last time too when it's on last trailer? Holy shit, that game looks good. I said this for the last trailer, and I know I just, just said this, but this definitely feels like they're throwing the money at this Kirby title. They're putting they're putting the effort in. They're really pushing Kirby forward with this title. Uh, that that I don't know how you get anything but that type of impression. This is Kirby Super Mario Odyssey the game, whatever. As as a personal, as something that just really gets me personally speaking, I love the upgrades to the power ups, the change in costume, the change in ability. I eat that shit up, man. Holy. Oh, my wife wants to play this too. Oh man, it just looks so fun. And this is and this is such a good gimmick, I think. It's kind of like WT up, but at the same time, it gives him something else besides his already cool powers that he has when he sucks up enemies. Oh, and they can do so many clever things with the map too now. Yeah. Just being able to reverse the map differently, more expediently. And just being able to reach out of out of the way areas. Oh my god. That just screams of freaking Oh my god, Super Mario Sunshine, that shit. And this whole town building mechanic too. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and you just whip in both of those chakrams. Yeah, that's so badass, man. Gigan Sword. Noble Ranger. Frosty Ice. Yeah, man. Love this. Dragon fire? That's sick. I hope some of these boss fights are decently what challenging are too. I'm not expecting to much because it is a Kirby game, but that'd be kind of cool if they were. God damn it, so many games, guys. Holy shit. Nah, that Kirby title is the Kirby title to beat, I think. I think this could quite possibly be the greatest Kirby game of all time. Um I don't know how you could think anything else 
or, or come to any other conclusion after watching these trailers for this Kirby game. Uh, yeah, I'm calling it. It's going to be the best Kirby ever made. Can't wait, guys. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know.